welcome. This will be a brief discussion of the Clark Y profile. And uh, some of the details, ways to um, look at it, way to, ways to interpret the shape, ways to break it down, uh, to... Uh, to make it, to make a built-up wing uh, that incorporates uh, the correct profile, especially at the leading edge. So, um, I've said some things, and this, these words have shown. I will just um, show this for a few seconds so that you can see the thoughts that are expressed there. It, um, leading up to, uh, as you might suspect, suspect, I'm sort of leading up to something here. Um, just of no moment. Um, the reference to um, a a found copy of of the of a profile somewhere on online or you know in a file or in print, the person might be able to either manually or through some other means make it larger or smaller. Um, So, that was uh, some ideas there referring to the, a percentage scale for your for the, the the distance of the cord, whatever it is. It it needs to be in tenths, and then you can easily see that you've got ten units, and uh, it totals a hundred percent. Um. Just a quick mention of the um, that thirty percent line. It's it it's important in in, in more than one respect. Um, so and then if one is making a rib template, um, you know, this is a way to approach it. Not the only way, just a way. Um, and so. This is talking about the idea, you know, the steps involved in replicating a, a found uh, copy of the profile you want to use and making a template and transferring uh, the... Um, when using the pinhole method, you can see that roughly, if you use your 10% markers, you've got a shape. That a pretty good pattern that you could trace. Uh, you can connect the dots. Um, you need a f you need a collection of points down around the leading edge, and I'll talk about that later. Um, so um, is doing it this way um, saves. Uh, can can speed things a lot if you have a template that you can hold in place and trace around and you've got half the battle won. Uh, something I didn't mention was people who work with balsa sometimes uh, can use a simply a, uh, a push pin, a T pin kind of a pin to go around um, a template either in addition to or instead of a pencil, and then you have a score that your your blade can follow when you're having if you're cutting these out by hand. It it's not all that hard. It's it's just a little time consuming to do it this way. Um so the uh one 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 point of uh, concern with with folks might be the complexity of the of of the profile, the leading edge in particular. But it um, 
if you envision it as a, as a wing that's being built up out of three layers, um, a central strong layer and two and a fill layer on either top, you know, top and bottom that gets shaped when it's all put to, you know, shaped and the profile is shaped in when it's all put together. It comes out, well, I don't know if this will show up or not, but it comes out like, um, bleh. you can't really see it, and I'm in the light, and things just don't work. Anyway, you probably can't make it out, but there's a 16th inch layer of, um, bass in there, or, or, or spruce, depending, um, with balsa, a filler layer of balsa on top and bottom, and, uh, of course that filler layer is inserted piece by piece between the ribs, that's the labor intensive part of doing it this way, but you end up with a really sturdy leading edge, which it's, it's nice to know that you've got that, uh, and uh, you know, if you do it right, you know, there's there's no real weight penalty. So the um, always uh, well, um, this is just a, well, what's been here all along. Duh. Just always remember that in looking at this shape, it climbs up to thirty, whatever that maximum thickness is uh, at thirty percent. And then there's a plateau, more or less, for about 10%, and then it starts coming back down. Now, it can be helpful to realize that if you get rid of that biased part up here with the offset neutral line, you see that there's actually have a real nice teardrop here, so to speak. Uh, so if you know if this was the same on both sides, you'd have a really sleek symmetrical zero lift profile just between you and me. So it, when you go to make one of these, it might be, benefit you to at least do this once in a while, mask it off, because I know I I tend to get this part wrong. I do, I do. Uh. Uh, let's see, I've been working on a project, it's all yellow, so it's not going to show up like that thing I was just trying to show you, uh, but I made, um, this gold wing I had here a minute ago, and the, and the, in the stabilizer set um, group that's here, well, it's the oldest. It's been made several years ago, and uh, but so this new model kind of got built around a very old set of stabilizers. Anyway, just finished it. It should fly. Anyway, that's it. Thanks.